You don't strike me as the kind of guy that likes to ride around in a beat-up old Ford Pinto. You seem like the type of fella that would drive a white Ferrari like in Don John's Miami Vice. Let's not beat around the bush. There are a fuckload of horses in Red Dead. Who knows how they work? I tried to find answers from my competitors, but after sitting through one too many of their boring and irritating videos, I turned to the one place I knew would have the answers I desired, Reddit. And let me tell you gentlemen, I secured the package. So chill out, crash on the couch, pour a stiff glass of McAllen, and let me give you the scoop on everything you need to know about horses in Red Dead Online. What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you the top two horses in Red Dead Online, how the stats break down, the best method of increasing your bonding level, the best equipment, the best horse for a new player, and some extra helpful tips and tricks that you should consider when making your horse purchase. I searched all across YouTube and it was very hard to find answers from other content creators, most of which seemed more opinion based. After some time, I turned to various internet forums and found some excellent charts that break down all the horse stats and give them an overall score by adding all the stats together. For those who care, I'm going to very briefly break down how to interpret the stat sheet. And I will leave a link in the description, so if you're curious, you can go do some of your own research. Basically, the sheets break down all the stats with the letter grade. If it is the best in a specific category or tied for best, it gets an A+. From there, it goes from A to F, A being the second best and F being the worst. When it comes to the best horse, this answer is somewhat disputable. Statistically speaking, the best horse overall is the Black Arabian, which is locked behind a 42 gold bar price wall and unlocked at level 70. Leave it to Rockstar, right? However, it does not have the highest top speed and is only the best in acceleration and mobility. The horse with the highest top speed as of the Naturalist update is still the Norfolk Roadster that is unlocked at level 20 of the Moonshiner Roll and costs $950. For this guide, I leveled both horses up to level 4 bonding and ran some speed and mobility tests and I have to say it is so damn close between which I prefer. You can feel the Norfolk Roadster is faster overall but at the same time the Arabian accelerates quicker and you can feel the enhanced mobility when making tight turns due to the elite handling. The Arabian can also take more of a beating having more HP. Both horses have great stamina, and I doubt you will ever run out after equipping the items I will recommend later. If I have had to make a recommendation i would 100 percent recommend the norfolk roadster it is a beast of a horse and being it doesn't cost 42 fucking gold it becomes an easy choice just keep in mind that acceleration mobility and hp will be slightly higher on the arabian Leveling to Bonding 4 will increase your horse's acceleration, speed, health, stamina, allow you to call him from farther away during gunfights, and allow you to do a sliding stop, which overall is helpful and well worth it. Leveling up these horses, Bonding is very, very easy. And I was surprised once I learned this method. You can brush, pat, and feed the horses. However, they don't actually give you that much XP. I have found the easiest and quickest way of leveling the bonding on these horses up is by leading them around. It will only take you about 45 minutes of leading these horses to go from level one to level four bonding. I have found the best method for doing this is by heading to the Great Plains region, either propping your controller against something or taping your joystick down so your character can just walk forward without you being on the controller and then just go AFK. Every 10 minutes or so, return to your game to make sure you haven't hit a or anything and keep your character walking until you hit level 4 bonding. For those of you who don't have level 20 collector or moonshine roll and don't want to spend 42 gold, I recommend the Missouri Foxtrotter as a fourth choice, which costs $950 and unlocks at level 58, which I have had for quite a long time and had no complaints. As for equipment, hands down best saddle you can get is the Nako Gochez which is unlocked at level 35 and $512. The saddle will boost all your stats essentially and is a no-brainer. As for stirrups, the best one you can unlock is hooded at level 54 and will enhance the speed, acceleration, and stamina drain on your horse. It is essential that you equip these on your horse. For the longest time, I did not, and I have to say, it makes a giant difference. You will hardly notice your stamina drain while they are equipped. Also, while at the stable, 
I recommend you buy a max inventory of hay. It is one of the best foods for your horse and is relatively inexpensive. For the new players, I would not recommend you continuously upgrade your horse. Simply buy the red chestnut Arabian at level one for $250 and grind on that horse until you can afford and unlock the late game horses. The boost in performance of the mid tier horses does not justify rebuying them at an additional $550 cost. The naturalist role did add the gypsy cob, which has the highest stamina and HP overall. However, the other stats are pretty laughable, so I would stay away from this one. In conclusion, most of the top tier horses on this list will fare you just fine, given the right equipment. I don't recommend you shell out your hard earned gold for the Arabian, being the effects are negligible. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and as always, you guys really blow my mind with how supporting and insightful you are in the comments. If you personally have a favorite horse, let me know and give me a reason in the comments. As for the next video I will be doing, it's either going to be the best gun breakdown or the best trinket breakdown, so let me know in the comments which you guys would prefer and stay tuned for that it really will fuck up my wallet by buying all these things but i am curious to see the results also and again i am taking video requests and if i like the idea you will get a video anyway guys as always take it easy